Yes. It's good to see you. I appreciate it. All right, please be seated. Bill, it's good to see you here. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I was told that this group was going to be gathering here today, I wanted to be sure that I had the chance to personally welcome you and thank you for your efforts on behalf of the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. These past several years have seen dramatic economic progress. We've set a record for economic expansion, the longest in U.S. peacetime. That growth has created over 15 and a half million new jobs. You've heard me say that before, but I can't get tired of saying it. I love to say it. <laughs> and a rise in real gross national product of nearly 23% since the recovery began over five years ago. And due in no small part to the leadership of Mac Baldridge, we have also seen remarkable improvement in productivity and the quality of American goods. We still have much to accomplish. We must continue to enhance private incentives and increase opportunities for work, investment, and entrepreneurship. We must continue efforts to bring down the federal deficit by restraining spending. We must resist protectionism and make sure that our domestic and foreign policies support industry's ability to compete in world markets. The substantial exchange rate changes have improved significantly the price competitiveness of U.S. industries and the early results are encouraging. So this is a moment of opportunity. But America's economic strength relies first and foremost on our ability to innovate through technology, managerial commitment, and labor skill, and to improve productivity and quality. I can think of no better way for us to seize this opportunity for growth than a new focus on the quality of our products and services. We have tough competition in international markets. Many of our competitors have used both U.S. developed techniques and their own homegrown methods to make dramatic improvements. They've sold the world and consequently their goods and services on their achievements in quality. We need to continue taking note of their accomplishments, taking stock of our potential, and continuing a quality revolution that makes America second to none. The Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award provides us with a very visible way to do just that, to continue this revolution. The award salutes companies that improve the quality of their goods and services, thus enhancing productivity, lowering costs, and increasing profitability. Just as important, it offers a vehicle for companies large and small in manufacturing and in services to examine their own approaches to quality. It offers companies a standard with which to compare their own progress to that of the country's very best. I'm particularly delighted to help launch this new national award because it represents government encouragement of the private sector, and the private sector gets the job done. Nor can I think of a better man to oversee this process than Bill Verity. When I asked, I asked him to chair my private my task force on private sector initiatives when I took office. The award is being managed by the Commerce Department's National Bureau of Standards with the assistance of a private sector consortium made up of the American Productivity Center and the American Society for Quality Control. Judging will be done with the help of 100 quality experts from industry and universities. It is all being made possible by the efforts of the new foundation for the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award and the organizations that are supporting the award through the foundation. Your presence here today, representing this team effort, is, sends a clear message that quality and this award in particular are vital. This award means even more to me because it is a fitting way to honor a good friend. The economic liberty and strong competition that are indispensable to economic progress were principles that Mac Baldridge stressed both as a successful businessman and a dynamic and effective Secretary of Commerce. The affluence this nation enjoys and the economic success that we've achieved derive from a free enterprise system that provides quality products and services. Mac helped strengthen this system. Mac's work symbolized quality in every respect, and this award honors him in a lasting and positive way. I look forward to November when 
I'll have the opportunity to pay special tribute not just to those of you who are making this award possible, but to those whose quality achievements signal a new national awareness on this matter and a resurgent America. So I thank you all again for being here, and God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special dividend. We found a fellow that 